My name is Dr. Aden Ali. I'm the Registrar Academic and the Student Affairs Garissa University. So Garissa University is the only university in the entire Northeastern and by extension, the entire northern region of Kenya. Uh, we currently have three, about 3,500 students. And uh, among the students that we have are students sponsored by members of parliament. And one particular member of parliament who has succeeded in sponsoring students in this university is the Mandera South MP, Mwishimua Kore, Abdul Haro Kore. Mwishimua Kore sponsors close to 125 students in this university, most of them being first year students, students who were placed by Coops to Garissa University in 2023. He sponsors the, their tuition fee and also their accommodation. Now it is rare for any member of parliament or any constituency for that matter to sponsor students accommodation uh, fee. But Moshe Mwakore has gone out of his way, and that is because of the circumstances, the very difficult circumstances that parents have way back home. So a lot of their animals were uh, taken out by drought, and uh, in this region, most parents are poor. They cannot even afford to pay for the transport of their children. And Moshe Mwakore has understood that very clearly. He saw the sufferings of the people in his constituency, and he decided to sponsor anybody going to university, particularly those who he wanted them to enroll in Garissa University for education courses. All the students he is sponsoring are students who are taking either Bachelor of Education Arts or Bachelor of Education Science. Now this is because of the shortage of teachers in his constituency as well as uh, Garissa, the entire Northeastern region. Uh, there has been an exodus of teachers from this region because there is a shortage, a general shortage of local teachers. The university, being a university, specializes in training secondary school teachers. And the Moshimu Akore, alongside other uh, members of parliament from this region, have sponsored students. But Moshimu Akore's case is special because he has visited the university. He is also a member of uh, the Committee of Parliament for Education. So he has got a lot of interest in this university and he's promised to support the university as well as students and members of his constituency. We are here at Garissa University um, I have visited students from my constituency, Mandela South constituency. I have 122 Five. students here, 125 students in this university. I have a few other students in Garissa Teachers Training College. I have a few others in uh, Mandela Teachers Training College. And there are several others who are also in other universities across the country. But this is the largest uh, teacher training program uh, from Mandera South constituency, who are in this university, 125 students, both boys and girls. I have visited today to see how they are doing. Uh, I have visited the university to see what facilities they have, how they are accommodating my students, how they are taking care of them. And I can tell you, I'm extremely happy that Garissa University has really uh, accommodated students from Mandera. And as we speak, Mandera County in general, has the largest student population now from a single county. Uh, we have even surpassed Garissa, which is the host of Garissa University. And that is something that we are very proud of. And when you come to constituency level, Mandela South constituency has the largest uh, number of students in this. Uh, and so to speak, uh, like, like to paraphrase my deputy president, uh, this is actually uh, a, a university where members of Mandela South constituency are 100% shareholders. <laughs> we have a history with this university. We know what happened in 2015. And it is a very good gesture that the university has picked up itself. And uh, from the discussions I've had with the administration this morning, they have more than 3,500 student enrollment in this university, which is something to be proud of. Very happy and very proud of my students from Mandela South constituency. I'm going to support them with tuition, uh, scholarship. Uh, they are going to earn some scholarship from the government, whatever uh, that will be uh, left for them to settle. I think through our tuition scholarship, we will be able to settle. We have also decided we will support them through uh, the accommodation uh, issues here, the hostels, uh, and I've visited the hostels. I'm quite happy with the progress that I've seen from the last time that I, that I visited. And I have agreed with my students that we expect nothing from them other than 
first class honors at the end of their course in this university. And, and I know and I know that is achievable. Thank you, Ajay Rosti we are able uh, we are be able to our passion, Bachelor of Education and works toward achieving achieving our dreams. Your support uh, has opened the door for us and allow us to focus on our study and personal growth without a constant worry worry of financial constraint. Uh, thank you once again, uh, Mushimua, without forgetting uh, uh, the, the, uh, the Madera people are chanting with your name. Uh, thank you once again. Uh, you have a special spot on our, on our heart. Another thing, Yani, as to my opportunity, Lazima, we make him proud of us. Let us be proud of ourselves first. Then to Kuya Nalini, moral, in the Tunaiza achieve lakini once sai tukianza masomo ndio at first nini first semester tunafanya exam hiyo exam tukipass tukipass tunakuwa na moral lakini at first tukianguka unaweza kuwa na moral some of us wanaweza at that time waende kwingine thank you mheshimiwa for giving this opportunity thank you very much thank you very much